just got back to the, from the library and I got a few things. I picked up this gigantic panel and I'm really excited to paint a big piece coming up this month. And I also got a couple of little pens that have like a nice brush tip. I really, really love brush tip pens lately in my sketchbook. It feels kind of like a paintbrush and I'm all here for it right now. So this vlog is gonna be over the next couple of weeks, like the next three weeks. And I've got a little list of things that I need to get done. So the first thing is to update my website and to update my Etsy shop, as well as to scout some vendor stores, some stores where I can put my art in there, like rent a little spot and put my art in there. Um, and to prep this big panel, as well as to start painting this big panel. For my website, I'm going for kind of like a sketchbook, mixed media feel. I'm scanning in some headers made out of paper and tape and such. I decided to close my online shop for a while as I focus on selling in person, in stores, or in markets. That's what prompted the website update, but I am struggling a little bit to know how to make it appear easy to read and understand because I do so many different things. I don't know if any of you guys watching this are mixed media artists, but if you've ever struggled with creating your portfolio or like defining yourself as someone who works with lots of different mediums, feel free to talk about it below. I'd love to hear your experience. I personally find it to be a bit confusing sometimes when it comes to sharing your art and making people understand what you do in a fast and easy way. Even just describing yourself as a mixed media artist can be like a bit vague, you know, like that could mean so many different things. So I've started describing myself as a visual artist instead, and I feel like that at least narrows it down to the mediums that I tend to work with. So I'm hoping that by putting together this like homepage that's kind of cool to look at. It'll like give a quick idea of all of the different things that I'm doing.
about to start on this really big canvas behind me and I thought I would try to transmute my feelings about it while I talk to you. So over the last like year I've been doing a lot of painting and drawing but it's mostly been smaller pieces and like I've done a lot of experimentation that way. I've drawn some like animals, some people, a lot of nature but all like smaller and I think that's been really good for like experimenting and figuring out how I want to paint things and trying out painting lots of different things but it is making me feel nervous for starting this big canvas because I just feel a little bit nervous it's so big and I know it's going to take me a little while to complete which can be difficult when it's in like a stage where you might not like it that much and you have to keep working on it even though I have practiced painting people in the last year, I feel like it was more at the beginning of the year and lately I've been doing a lot of nature and animal stuff, so I feel kind of out of practice with people too. So I'm going to try to remember the reason why I even wanted to start this, which was that I've been having this craving to do bigger pieces and you can do like, just have a lot of fun with the brush strokes and let my mind and my hands just do what they want to. Because I have a lot of fun just like instinctually creating pieces. So this time I didn't do any kind of like prep for what I want the colors to look like. Which is honestly probably going to stress me out. But also hopefully I'm going to have fun with it. I want to feel a sense of discovery while I'm working on it. And allow myself to go with the flow of how it's looking. And to just remember a discovery while I'm doing it because the theme of the painting actually is discovery. So I need to keep that in mind while I'm doing it and to remember that I can discover things along the way of the painting. I don't have to have everything figured out at the start. it's frustrating when you don't know what your style is because our style is always going to be changing so it's not like I expect to have the same style all the time but when I'm in this kind of like in between where my style's growing and evolving it can feel really frustrating. I don't really know as for the current painting if I want it to be in like a realistic-ish style with like still lots of different colors that aren't realistic but or if I want it to be in a more stylized look. It's very confusing to me. And it's kind of stressful, honestly. But I'm trying to just be cool with it. I don't really know what I want. And I don't really know how to proceed. I might just have to 
start the face over, which is fine, but it always feels really confusing because there's already all these lines and colors there. One good thing is that, you know, I gave myself the idea to just go and have fun and put all the colors down on the canvas how my hands felt like they wanted to and that's what I did. I didn't really use a reference or anything and I feel like that's why I don't love the way that it looks. However, it was still nice to let myself like just express and let my hands do whatever they wanted to do. I actually quite like rainy days. I wish I could just have a clear image of what I want it to look like and how to move forward, but I don't. And we're gonna move forward anyway. Tapping with my finger on the that's where I might end off the painting for this video. I'm not sure how I feel about it still. I put a poll on Instagram and the options were do you think that this painting looks cool and unique? Do you think it looks like they're dying from a horrible disease? Or do you just want to click a poll? And the bottom two got two votes and the top one one by nine votes. So apparently people don't think it looks like a disease, but I'm still seeing some kind of a little bit of a disease look when I look at it. So if you have any comments about it, feel free to let me know in the comments what you would choose on that poll. When I was sketching the design I wrote beside it, I want to discover myself like I discover a new place. I think that's what I wrote, something like that. Um, and so I feel like the whole vibe of it was supposed to be happy. But the colors aren't really giving happy. So I'm still conflicted. And I'll probably keep working on it in the next video. On her shoulders she's going to have some houses. And then on the top of her head she's going to have a little flag. And then her hair is kind of shaped like a mountain. So it's kind of like she's the landscape. And it's like a little town on top of her. So it doesn't really make sense for her to be all sad. But maybe it does. I don't know. Maybe it would look cool if she's sad, because she, I don't know. I'm conflicted, but as for the other stuff that I've wanted to do this month, I have gotten a few things done. I've also done so much sketching uh, this last few weeks, so I'm definitely going to show you my sketchbook in a little bit. I think I'll work a little bit more on my website today.
So that's the end of the video, I suppose. I'm really happy that I got everything pretty much on my list done. My website's all updated if you want to look at it. It's linked below. And I've also updated my Etsy shop, which is also linked below if you want to check out some of the digital download and printable things I have on there. I'm just getting started, so I only have like three listings at the moment. I'm gonna keep working on the painting over the next couple weeks. Leave a like if you made it all the way to the end of the video and leave a sub if you wanna stick around for more videos. Hope you have a wonderful day and I'll see you next time.